We're involved right now in, in Afghanistan in uh, a, a counterinsurgency campaign. Archbishop Oscar Romero was the cautious leader of Salvadorian Catholics. When he spoke out, the reaction from the right was immediate. In March 1980, as he was saying mass in a private chapel, the archbishop was murdered by a single assassin's bullet. At his funeral, the military struck again. I only remember a bomb exploding and then many shots being fired and people running in all directions. Many, many people were killed. On December 3rd, 1980, three U.S. nuns and a woman lay worker started the long drive into town from San Salvador's International Airport. On the way, they were raped and killed. Their corpses were discovered in a shallow grave. The killings by El Salvador's National Guard prompted President Carter to withdraw aid to the Salvadorian military. But within six weeks, Carter had resumed funding an army whose atrocities continued. U.S. military advisors were hard at work bolstering the army against the guerrillas. The Atla Katla Brigade was the crack unit. In 1981, it went on a search and destroy mission in the guerrilla-controlled Morasan province. It would go into action near the village of El Mosote. Hundreds of civilians were slaughtered. I fought for my children. I didn't want to let them go. I said I would die with them, but they wrenched them from my arms. We heard them killing the children. They killed them at night. You could hear the screams for their mamas and papas. Now, here's your Pentagon Channel report. Defense officials say the expansion of the Afghan army would cost about $17 billion. In addition to funding the army's expansion, the money will also be used to finance the army's operations as well as being invested in the Afghan Air Corps. warlords or war criminals, they are now uh, dominating the parliament, you know, so, so we, we sort of rehired them to defeat the Taliban. They became appointed as cabinet in, in Hamid Karzai's cabinet. This was sort of political payback. General Abdul Rashid Dostum is one of several warlords who have allied with Afghan President Hamid Karzai, who's seeking a new term. Dostum's return to prominence in Afghanistan comes despite his role overseeing a 2001 massacre at Dashti Laili that left at least 2,000 Taliban POWs dead. 